So this milli equivalence calculation question was actually asked by one viewer on the channel and I just wanted to take a minute to solve it because it has some insightful concepts which will be beneficial to the entire community. Hello, this is Dr. Damkwa and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and strategies then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get right to it. Now the question says calculate the milli equivalence per liter concentration of sodium ion, calcium ion and chloride ion in a fluid having 0.25 molar NaCl and 0.075 molar calcium chloride. So first of all it's important to understand that all of these ions are actually coming from the salt so the sodium cation is going to come from the sodium chloride salt the calcium cation is going to come from the calcium chloride salt and you're going to get chloride ions from both the sodium chloride and the calcium chloride so the strategy will be to find the milli equivalence per liter of the chloride ions from the sodium chloride and the calcium chloride and then go ahead and add those two values together to determine the milli equivalence per liter for the chloride ions now the first thing we want to do is start off with the milli equivalence equation and the equation we're referring to is meq which is milli equivalence is actually equal to the millimole times the valence. So that's the original equation. Now, because we are looking for milli equivalence per liter, which is a concentration, we can actually use the derivative of this original equation right here by dividing both sides by a volume quantity in liters. And so we have milli equivalence per liter being equal to millimole per liter times valence. And that'll be useful because when we look at the molarity here, we can actually convert that into something that will be similar to the millimoles per liter. So let's go ahead and use this equation to determine the milli equivalence per liter of the sodium cation. And the way that will work is we'll start off with the salt, which is sodium chloride. And when you put the sodium chloride in an aqueous environment, it's going to dissociate into the sodium cation and the chloride anion. It's important here really to understand the stoichiometry that is going on. When you take one mole of sodium chloride, it's going to give you one mole of the sodium cation and one mole of the chloride anion. Now that's important because based on the stoichiometry, once we've determined the millimoles of sodium chloride, it's going to be the same millimoles for the sodium cation because of the one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio. Now when we take the 0.25 molar solution of sodium chloride, what that implies is that you have 0.25 moles per liter. And notice in the equation we need millimoles per liter so we can actually convert the moles to millimoles and then one mole is actually a thousand millimoles so we do end up with 250 millimole per liter now that's the concentration of the sodium chloride but like we said the ratio the stoichiometric ratio between the sodium chloride and the sodium cation is one to one and so that would imply that the concentration of sodium cation is also going to be 250 millimolar now the next thing that we need is the valence of the sodium cation so the valence is one because the valence is the absolute of the charge on the species and the charge is positive one so absolute of positive one is one so we can go ahead and determine the milli equivalence per liter of the sodium and that'll be equal to 250 times one and that gives us 250 milli equivalence per liter we can repeat a similar thing for the chloride ion and once again, the stoichiometry ratio between the sodium chloride, which is one, and the chloride ion is also one. So it's, the ratio is one to one, actually. And so we can still make use of the 250 millimolar concentration here. So that would imply that for the chloride ion, you have also 250 millimoles per liter, and your valence is also going to be one because it's the absolute of the charge on the ion. So absolute of negative one is going to be one. So here the MEQ per liter is going to be 250 times 1 
and that is also equal to 250 milli equivalents per liter. Now we can go ahead and do a similar process for the calcium chloride. So when you have calcium chloride and you put that in an aqueous environment, it's also going to dissociate into a calcium cation and two chloride anions all right so here what it means is that one mole of calcium chloride gives one mole of calcium cation and two moles of the chloride ion now from the question we have 0 0.075 molar calcium chloride which implies they have 0 0.075 moles per liter we can convert this to millimole per liter and the reason we are doing that once again is that in the equation we have millimoles per liter so that makes our computation fairly straightforward so one mole here is going to give a thousand millimoles and the moles can cancel out and we end up with 75 millimole per liter so here for the calcium cation the valence is actually going to be two and that's because your valence is the absolute of the charge, right? So absolute of positive two is two. And so we can go ahead and use the milli equivalence equation that we found here to determine the milli equivalence per liter. So milli equivalence per liter is going to be equal to the millimoles per liter. And because it's one to one, we are going to have 75 and the valence is two. So that gives us 150 milli equivalence per liter. We can now focus on the chloride ion and for the chloride the valence is actually going to be equal to one because the valence is the absolute of the charge absolute of negative one is one but then the millimoles because you have a ratio of one to two you're going to have a millimoles so millimoles per liter of the chloride ion here is going to be two times the 75 and that gives 150. So the milli equivalence per liter is going to be equal to 150 times 1 and that gives 150 milli equivalence per liter. Now it's extremely important to do one more step because we are getting the chloride from both the sodium chloride and the calcium chloride. And so we need to take the value here from the 250 milli equivalence per liter which is contributed by the sodium chloride and then add that to the 150 milli equivalence per liter which is coming from the calcium chloride so for the chloride ion itself it's going to be equal to 250 milli equivalence per liter plus the 150 milli equivalence per liter and that gives 400 milli equivalence per liter so to summarize, the milli equivalence per liter of the sodium cation is actually 250. The milli equivalence per liter for the calcium cation is 150. And the milli equivalence per liter for the chloride ion in the solution is actually 400. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.